Hey guys, Liz here. Um, I started doing the whole episode 8 thing and I wanted to talk about uh, the Blake Foster thing that happened this weekend and I was just going to include it in an episode and what turned into me just talking about it led into the, the link that you see right now and so I'm just going to scrap any of the thing before it and uh, as soon as I get done refilming this intro I'm going to cut to the episode 8 review but I feel like it needed to be talked about. I feel like it can't completely be swept under the rug. And honestly, why I, I knew I had to talk about it is because I do news. And it sounds strange, but I do hold myself to some journalistic integrity that if something happens, as much as I don't want to talk about it, like the Rene stuff that happened uh, with sexual assault and whatever, like I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to talk about things that bring me down, but you as Ranger Nation deserve to know about it. And so I kind of, I talk about the situation, I give my opinion on it, I let people know, especially for some of you guys who are maybe just watching this, like, hey, they wanted to drop it, and I understand that. I just, I have to at least let you know what happened, and that's probably all I'm going to talk about. Um, like, that's it. I, I probably won't mention this again, except for a little snippet in the Ranger Week in review. But I'm ready to move on from it, uh, but I at least have to let you guys know, uh, guys know what happened. So... Take a watch, I guess. Uh, let me know, obviously, your opinion on it. And real quick, to anybody who's like, well, you know, he apologized and whatever, and you don't, maybe you don't know exactly the big picture as to what happened and why what he was saying was affecting people. And after the apology, what's going on? It's it's a lot more than just he said something, he apologized, and people won't let it go. So I hope maybe this gives you a little more insight um, to maybe why people were upset. Uh, about it. So, anyway, take a look at this. I'm just going to cut straight into it. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, after this at the episode 8 review later. So, I guess this was Friday. Uh, a lot of this started. Uh, on Thursday, I remember, we got our first, like, preview look of Nate becoming the Gold Ranger, which was great. And when I hate that it has to be tied in with this, but uh, basically Blake Foster on Instagram saw the picture of uh, Nate being, you know, in his ranger suit, but helmetless, and here's the thing. If you just look at it on the surface level and you go, I don't know why people are still so upset about it, it's way beyond the surface level. What he said was, he called him an L7 weenie, and he compared him to Squints from The Sandlot. Now, a lot of us at first were like, well, Come on, man! Like you, you're you are a legacy Power Ranger actor. You know, like how how would you feel if one of of your people when you came into your season were saying that about you? Like, come on, man! Anyone can be a Ranger. That's that's not cool, right? So there was kind of that, and we're like, well, maybe if he had just said, "Oh, guy, I'm sorry. It was a joke. It it I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to offend anyone, but I'll I'll be better. You know, forgive me." And then, you know, it dropped. And we would be like, okay. That is exactly what happened. He, uh, he kind of started doubling down on the crazy. Uh, so when people were sending him messages about it, instead of just saying, hey, I'm sorry, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something. He doubled down on just, no, that's my opinion and, and whatever. And that's, he's entitled to his opinion. And, I, oh, man, it was driving me crazy. This is America. We have freedom of exp Well. You do. You you have the freedom to say whatever you want, but that doesn't mean you have the freedom of consequences. Okay? You Anything I say, I, I have to think of that when I'm on camera. Like, you don't say something that you don't want out for everyone to say. And you can have your own personal opinions, but once you put it out, you are expecting feedback from it. Like I do. I tell you my opinion of the episode. I'm expecting feedback. Maybe you liked it. Maybe you didn't like it. Maybe you think I'm an idiot. That, that's fine. That's your opinion. But if you get on my page and you say, hey, I think you're an idiot. Well, maybe somebody will say something back because you made it public. Whew, I just I just really felt like I needed to get that off my chest. But what Blake did, so he said that. And then when people were sending him things back, and I'm not saying the people that were sending him things back, it was all sunshine and rays, roses, you know, they were, they were using some colorful language. Let's say. But he's screenshotting it and putting them on blast to all of his followers to go after that person. That is where a line was getting crossed. Then, then, <laughs> he was talking about the show and saying how, yeah, it was really gay for them to have a kid as a ranger just like I think this ranger is. 
1999 callback, uh, you, you can't say gay like that anymore, okay? It's not, I mean, it isn't the N-word, because, like, I won't say that on my channel, but if you, you say, that's gay, like, what are you, 12? Seriously? That's what, okay. But again, it continues. If you can, he had just said, I apologize, whatever. He issued an apology, blaming his kid for it, uh, saying that he called it gay in a bad way because he was a 90s kid. And uh, just in general, not, not apologizing for this. Then he goes like crazy, crazy on Saturday, flashing what he says is $15,000. Oh, you guys think cons are my only thing? Oh, I made $15,000 on a Saturday. Yeah, how about that? I'm like, what do you do? First off, I just want to say, does the IRS know you made all this money? You're flashing us 15K in cash and you're getting that every Saturday, not from cons? Okay, buddy. Okay, you either really lying or you're really doing something, maybe off the books. I don't really know what you're going to be doing 15K in cash. That that's my own like. Okay, you like he's trying to flaunt it, like to make us feel bad about like, oh, I look at how much money I got. Just doubling down on his own opinions, and he he just rawr, and then try to issue this apology, and there then he's taking things like screenshots from what people have said that people had sent to him because they're blocked, and then putting them out on his Twitter. So he's basically showing everyone like, look at all this re re uh, affirmation to affirm to confirm everything I've done. I'm sorry, we're gonna try to let this go, but. He let all of it go, and uh, and Ranger Nation, I think, really lost a lot of respect for him in that. Um, I don't feel like anything he said really was heartfelt, um, because he just, the very next more, more moments, morning, just kind of went straight back to it. And you're like, if you're not, you can ask for forgiveness, and that's fine, and I am willing to give forgiveness, but you have to show me that you are worthy of that forgiveness. And your actions speak louder than words, but sometimes words mean a lot also. The words you used hurt, the words you used affected people, and it saw action. And the way Ranger Nation rose up and said, what you are doing is not okay. It's not okay to treat people like this. It's not okay to just say, oh, I'm sorry, and then just go do whatever. We hold you higher than that. You are a Power Ranger. <sighs> Man, that's and it's it's frustrating. It's it's really frustrating to have someone. You know, I mean, personally, I didn't really watch Turbo. Like, I, I knew of him as a ranger. Follow him. You know, whatever. He's a ranger, but it just sucks when you kind of lose that respect for someone and just start doubling down on I'm right and everyone else was wrong. And you say you're sorry, but then you don't actually show it. Um, that's tough. Uh, it's really tough and. When it comes down to it, we're saying everyone is a ranger. I mean, if you've been, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know what I say. Anyone can be a ranger. It's in your heart. I truly believe that you can be a ranger. I don't care what weight you are. I don't care the color of your skin. I don't care what your sexual orientation is. I don't care what gender you are, what age you are. I think Power Rangers has shown that. Power Rangers has shown we had. Um, man, I can't even think of his name right now. Um, Purple, uh, Albert, Albert. You look at him, you're like, is that guy Power Ranger? Probably not. But yeah, he was, because he was chosen, because of what was in his heart. And Nate was chosen, not only for his brain, but for his heart. And we all need to look past that. And everyone is a Ranger. Anyone can be a Ranger. And I truly believe that, and I hope you do too. And if you feel like it's okay to make fun of someone like that, that's not cool. It's not. And it doesn't matter what age you are. You should know better. Don't make fun of someone with glasses, man. I wear glasses. Although, I never, you guys never see my glasses because they're actually an older prescription. And so things are a little blurry. So that's why you don't really see me in glasses too often. And like in pictures you do. But, uh, but not when I record because I have to be able to see everything. But I don't know. Anyone can be a ranger. I love all of you. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and stop this and probably post it separately and just do the episode 8 uh review in a different one. I didn't think I was going to talk about this, but I guess I really, really wanted to. Um, being a bully isn't okay. Treating people like a bully is not okay. And thank you guys for listening to my TED Talk. Um, 
and and you know, I, I guess you say, well, where do you where 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 I stand on it now? Um, you know, he he starts acting and showing like he was remorseful and and moving forward. Then fine, again, I'm I'm willing to forgive. I think maybe he. I I hope deep down he learned from this experience. Uh, but who knows, man? Who knows? Uh, check, I mean, check the Twitter hashtags if you want to go catch up on everything for yourself. It all went down on Instagram and Twitter, which is why I didn't really say anything about it on, on, uh, on YouTube over the weekend. But I guess maybe you guys should know and, and form your own opinion. But uh, to all those people who just, who, who read his comments and who, who read his reply and that were like, I can't believe you guys still can't get over it and you're a bunch of, I mean, of course you get called soft and whatever and he's and he's liking anything that just says, man, these people are just full of it and they just need to get over themselves. And don't worry, Blake is still upvoting all of those, upvoting, this isn't Reddit. He's still liking all of this stuff. So he clearly thinks people who are offended are still soft, which clearly means he's not really ready to change. Um, but, hey, anyone can change. Anyone can get better. I don't know. But that's just what it is. And I guess that's my opinion on the thing that I, I really did not mean to post. But I had to get it off my chest, so there you go. Uh, thanks for listening to this ramble. And let me know in the comments. Because, again, you say something and you put it out there in words and video, whatever it is, you put out your opinion. You're inviting feedback from it. And you might not like that feedback because you might not have said things that are uh, appropriate. But... It's what you learn from it, I guess. So, thanks for listening to this, guys. I'm going to hit stop on this and, I guess, record the Episode 8 review. And I'm not 100% sure how the rest of this week's going to go. But thanks for listening. And, uh, yeah, anyone can be a ranger. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Never, ever let anyone tell you differently. Being a ranger is in your heart. You can be a ranger every day. Mwah.